Hello everybody, Luna here, and due to some weird issues my laptop's having, I'm going to be forced to do this as kind of an audio-only review. Maybe this will just be the new format if I can't get things straightened out, which kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. This is like the fourth take of this, by the way. But today we are actually talking about the first book of the Other Land series, City of the Golden Shadow. By Tad Williams. Tad Williams is a very good writer, I'll just start with that, and he's one that I highly recommend. Recommend His books are relatively easy to find secondhand as well. I don't think I've ever seen them for sale new, mainly because I think most of them have been kind of sort of out of print for a while now. Like these books, like for example, this book was, put, was published in the early 90s. Well, early to mid, I believe. Other Land is a story which is dealing in the long run with children going into comas and not waking up after going onto the net, which is pretty much just, well, the internet, but entirely done in VR, pretty much. Which, yeah, there are still, like, your basic commands to, like, and you can still have, like, desktop interfaces, but they've... Technology's advanced so much that VR is now the easier option, even if it's not always affordable. And, yeah. Children are going into VR and not coming back out, pretty much. Renee Silueo, our main character, is the one who... Kind of, her brother goes into a coma after going online, and she kind of starts making the connection that this is because of something that happened on the net, possibly due to this kind of sketchy nightclub-type site that they went on, which is named for a children's show and has the same mascot. There's obviously something bit more going than, uh, you know, normal going on there, which she does clue into pretty quickly, but after attempting to do some investigating there and having this strange vision of a golden city, she finds herself, well, put it mildly, under heavy attack from unknown forces and being forced to flee for her life at the risk of getting herself killed for looking into this. Her student, Exabu, whose name is technically supposed to be pronounced with a click before the X, but I cannot do both at the same time, so I will spare you the sound of me trying to force a letter that I cannot make. He ends up kind of, like, he was her student, but he ends up kind of fleeing with her and helping with her family as they do become friends. On the other side of the equation, in the States, because this is actually all being set in South Africa, for this uh, first, for the first part of it, there, the one of the other major plot threads deals with Orlando and Fredericks, a pair of American teenagers who, in a Dungeons and Dragons type game, also end up seeing the Golden City, or at least Orlando does, and he becomes obsessed with trying to find it. Both Orlando and Fredericks, and Xabu and Renee, yes, my bad. She's not thrilled. This is like the fourth time she's heard me talking about this. <laughs> They both end up, both groups end up going to the treehouse, which is kind of almost like Tumblr in a way. Just a place full of information and all sorts of, all sorts of other interesting goodies that's also completely lawless, and you can do whatever you want there. Where they go in there to get information on what's going on with the Golden City. And although they both end up finding ways to it from going there, it's through different sources. You also have this, like, going along with all this, you also have a plot thread develop going around the character of Paul, who, in a nice way of putting it, is trapped within simulations, with no knowledge of them being simulations, and also not really remembering who he is from one world to the next, other than the fact that he knows that he needs to flee these monsters which chased him from the first one. And he does eventually come to remember everything, and yeah, kind of, his story kind of, that's towards the end of the story for him. With the next book, I honestly really wonder what's going to happen at that one. And there's also, like, a fourth plot thread that deals with the Grail Project, which Paul is related to, and is also related to the Golden City. As well as a little girl named Chrisabel, who ends up helping this kind of creepy, stranger danger old man named Sellers who's functionally just a political prisoner, 
escape from this kind of like protected island area because he's trying to look into what's going on with the with other land the golden city the children comas all of that kind of a, he's also looking into it although his efforts are very limited due to where he's locked up it's a very interesting book all the stories do actually mesh together by the end of it and i do highly recommend reading it if you can find the whole series, honestly, just pick the whole thing up at once. I haven't checked out the rest of them yet, but I do plan on it. I should note that for future book reviews, if it's a book that I don't feel really needs a video review, it'll just be done on either, on well, both my Instagram and my coffee, which I want to do have some more coffee integration with my YouTube channel. So you'll have written reviews you can read on there before the videos are done, or if they're not getting a video at all. There will be, most of the video reviews I'll be doing now, if I can't get my recording software to work properly, are going to be like this. Which, I don't think it's a big deal, it gives me more excuses to do more reading themed art I can do, or just whatever art I've done at the moment, I guess, I could use. But, yeah. If you're looking for an interesting science fiction slash fantasy book that actually has a really interesting setting, because... Of all the fantasy books I've ever read, a very few of them are ever set anywhere other than like a North American or European type area. It's really nice seeing something that's, for the most part, although it is mainly set on the internet, having the setting in South Africa for like large chunks of it is actually really interesting, especially when they start talking about like apartheid and all of that, where it's stuff that I just don't see a lot in fantasy, right? <laughs> I'm sure it's out there, just not in stuff that I've read. And, honestly, because of the setting and the stuff it does with VR and all that, I can definitely advise checking this out for that alone. Not only, do, but all the writing is also quite excellent, so more reasons to read it. And Ted Volume's book's relatively easy to find, so not like you're going to be hunting for ages for this one. I will talk to you guys next review, which will probably be a full series review because the current book I'm reading, I'm probably going to be done within like the next like three to four days. So I will be taking a bit of a break from the video content. So look for the written reviews on my coffee and my Instagram until the next video is done. Thanks for listening. See ya.